one of the great One of the great features about the MySelf 5000 phone system is its ability to handle SIP extensions natively. So, let's create one. Connect into MySelf 5000 phone system and navigate to System, Devices and Feature Codes, Phones, and let's right click in this window and create a SIP phone. We're going to accept the default values here of uh, 1004 and 1 extension. Let's press OK. Let's give this phone a name of SIP. Uh, obviously this name will not be displayed on the phone itself. You'll need to program the display name on the phone, but this is the name that will be used uh, to reference to this phone from the phone system. So in the system directory, and if this phone makes a call to any other system phone, then this is the name that will be displayed. Once we've set the name, enter into the extension, and we'll need to define a passcode uh, for this phone, so just right click and edit passcode, and enter in a fairly secure yet unique numeric passcode for this device, and hit OK. This is the password that you'll use to connect the device to the system on your SIP programming. We'll need to make sure that uh, the phone has the ability to dial out. So under associated extensions, just ensure that the outgoing section isn't set to none. And what we would normally recommend is you change the outgoing extension to the IRS number, in this case 92000. This just makes sure that any restrictions about perhaps you uh, don't let your agents call 118 numbers, for example, uh, that will just ensure that those restrictions are remaining in place. Now, once the extension is created and the password set up and we've given it a name, we need to be aware of the context that the phone is going to be used in. If the phone is going to leave our native network in our office, then we'll need to tell the phone system this so that it identifies itself correctly to the phone. So the way that we do this is uh, navigate to SIP peers on the left hand side, uh, expand SIP phone groups and for the phone we've just created a SIP phone group will have been created as well. Under the configuration for this group select NAT settings and you can see that it's currently set to native. This means that the phone system expects the phone to be inside our network and will address the phone using internal IP addresses. Obviously if your phone then leaves your network this communication isn't going to work because the phone isn't going to be able to resolve the phone system on the IP address that it expects to be able to. So if we change the NAT address type to NAT and the phone system will address the phone using its public IP address, which will allow the phone to work outside of the local area network. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial on SIP extensions and the MITEL 5000 phone system. However, if you require any further information, then please do not hesitate to get in touch with us.